Hi, I'm Paul Kreischer, and I'm here today because my wife and I are buying a home in Southern Colorado. We are so excited about this home built in 2003 that has great sustainability features on one and a quarter acre of land near the San Juan National uh, Forest, as well as a beautiful lake nearby. But it's got 6.2 kW of active solar. It's got beautiful sunrooms on the backside of the house for passive solar heating. But a key thing I'm doing today is I'm gonna put the house under a blower door test while we're having the home inspected. Because if you don't get a blower door test during your home inspection, you're be being a bit blind. Unfortunately, you won't know without the blower door test where air is leaking in, where air is leaking out, what could be leading to ice dams on your roof deck, what could be leading to high energy bills for your home. So come with me, we're gonna check this out by doing this blower door test and see what we find. So now we're inside the house. We've got the blower door frame started with the setup. We're gonna put this in. And what this is, it just looks like, and it really is, just a big tarp that we're putting into the doorway of the house, which will then hold the fan that's there in the foreground. So we can actually push air in and out of the house Clamp all these down a little bit, make sure they're all good. But basically, what we're doing is we're going to be depressurizing the house, and any air that's pushed out of the house will be replaced by air coming in. Whether that's a leak at the ceiling, a leak at an outlet, a leak at a window, wherever we find the air leakage. The beautiful thing is that we're going to be able to quantify it and be able to know how much air leakage is happening. And as part of overall energy rating modeling, we can say, is that too much? A good amount, maybe even too little air leakage that's happening, but without this, again, you don't know what's going on as far as air leakage in your home. So now we're running the blower door. We're finding the level of air leakage in the home. From my quarter of a century of experience, the house is very air leaky. So it's a bit of a fixer-upper when it comes to the air leakage part of it because this is about double what we should see for a home that was built new of this size to meet the energy code. So now we're going to look to see where the air leaks are coming into the house. So here is one of the seams in the ceiling where you can see the smoke shooting across, going away from where the leak is. Here's a large gap in another part of the ceiling, leaking air. So during the blower door test, we're putting about a 22 mile per hour wind pressure on the house. So these can lights from 2003 have intentional air openings in them because light bulbs at that time were incandescent bulbs and they created too much heat. So they had to dissipate the heat from someplace. Now, thankfully with LED bulbs, you don't have to worry about that. And this needs to be replaced with a can light new fixture or a can like cover that will stop all this air leakage because we have LEDs that don't make the heat that have to be dissipated any longer. But there's a lot of can lights in the home and this is a big part of the air leakage in this home. So another significant air leak and this home has beautiful tongue and groove ceilings but as we we're seeing there's air leaks in little areas of it. But of course this attic hatch is even more leaky than a typical attic hatch because of the fact it's tongue and groove ceiling not really resting on itself fully and just allowing air to become blowing out of here. Thankfully, this is a fairly easy fix with weather stripping going around the perimeter and adding some MDF board on the back side to weigh it down and compress down uh, the weather strip on that. Just check out another can light over over here. So they're all very, very leaky. So now we're back the day after doing the blower door test. And the home is beautiful to us. The location, mountains in the background, forest service access, you know, into San Juan National Forest, a lake just up the road. And the sustainability side that of course caught my eye right away when we were here at first was the solar PV system, the sunrooms that are over on the northeast corner of it. So great passive solar heating, great active solar heating. Then we did the blower door test. And I've learned that there's some definite challenges with air leakage moving up through the tongue and groove ceilings into the attic, likely leading to the ice damming the house is having. So without doing spray foam, 
peeling back the fiberglass insulation that's in there and putting on three inches of spray foam to seal and better insulate that, this house is a no-go for us. But with that being done, and that's the current plan, we're gonna love being in this home. But again, we wouldn't have known until doing the blower door test that this sustainable looking home would have any problems. So remember that when you're buying a home for yourself.